Hi, it's Amy. If you're new here, I own Simply Beautiful Plans and I like to share sort of behind the scenes in how I run my shop. So in this vlog, I've collaborated with Deanna from The Planning Queen. She also has a, an, a shop and she shares behind the scenes as well as like packing orders. And it just so happens that she was in the Ultimate Planner sale and I was in the Made in Canada sale and we wanted to share how we pack up orders from a larger collab sale. So you can sort of see how she gets through all of those orders. And then I'm also sharing with you this week how I sort of bundle up all those orders and get through it too. So I share some tips and tricks for what I do in order to stay on track of all the orders, as well as some foiling tips and tricks. So if you're interested in foiling, I give you some of my best advice for that. And I also shared how I make my reusable sticker books. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. So now I'm taking the time to go through all of the orders and I'm highlighting them all. I came up finally with a new idea of highlighting the bundles, the first 20 a certain color, the first 40, 60, and so on, so that I knew which freebie they would get. So it gave me some time to go through every single order. I also highlighted if you ordered more than one item. And it also let me see everything that was kind of being ordered and I had a good idea of what I was gonna have to pull next. And so that always makes it a little bit faster. Now I moved on to filling the orders. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling whatever you ordered and then I'm putting it under the corresponding foil color. That way when I have a big enough batch, I can foil them all at the same time. This moment, can we stay here forever? Forever. So, good morning. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. and I just went through on Etsy to figure out what sold out of the new releases and the lace headers, finish my book, lights overlay, layering lace, the new Believe reusable book, and start my book is almost sold out. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm working on printing and cutting more stock. I already printed more of the Believe reusable sticker book. I just need to foil this and add the laminate overlay and then cut it and put it onto the books before I'm gonna restock that but I'm hoping to get that restocked today. And then I've been pulling orders and putting their foil under here. So I think I'm gonna get to foiling orders this morning too. And I'm also just gonna be working through, going through all the orders. It's helping being ready to ship, but with my shop, because everything is foiled and I still allow customization, <laughs> I still have to do this part after you order. So now I'm going through all of the foil colors and I am foiling them. I do save the clear sheets and I foil those later because they require a different temperature than the premium matte sheets. I thought I would just come on and show you how I make the albums. So this morning I foiled the design, so I foiled it with the rose gold. Now I need to add the laminate overlay, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm sorry if you can hear my son playing piano in the background. He's downstairs in our basement, but I find the camera picks up noise really well, but he's practicing. So, he's like addicted to the piano. It's awesome. We also got him a violin and he's also addicted to that, but we had to get it restrung. It was second hand and it was old. So it needed new strings. So it's getting that right now. So he can't play his violin. So he's working through, it's actually an app 
and it's really cool if you're interested in music and you want to learn. It listens to the piano and tells him if he's on key and lights up if he's playing the right note. So he's working through different lessons and it lights up when he does it correctly. And then he has to get, I think a percentage correct for, for him to move on to the next lesson. So it's great for when I'm working. It's a really good quiet activity for him to do independently so I can get work done because my three-year-old naps right now. So he's occupied, but having something for my five-year-old is key. So this is the laminate overlay. I love these things because they're so pretty and they also really protect your sticker book. So what I actually do, a little hack, <laughs> is I tape this down because they curl after being foiled. So I tape it down so it's nice and flat. Makes it easier to apply these. These can be a little bit tricky to apply and I know I might have some shop owners on here too that know. If you know, you know. These are a bit of a pain. But if you don't know, <laughs> this is my hack. So what I do is I take my laminate and I fold over the back. So I just have a little bit of this showing. I then take it and I apply it to my album design. Only just that little bit peeking through. So I'll show you. So I've now applied it to this sheet and just that little bit's applied and I'm making sure it's nice and even and I find this way I don't get any um, I guess ripples or creases in the laminate because that's the struggle with these laminate covers so now it's like this now my hack is I will actually put this through my foiler I don't have the foiler on it's just feeding this paper through, but because the foiler has rolls, it applies an even pressure and pulls this through at an even pace so that I don't get any wrinkles, if that makes sense. That's what I do. Then I take it up from this sheet. I flip over that tape so it doesn't get caught. I'll turn on and yeah, no heat, just cold lamination. So now it's feeding. It's making a really weird noise. Probably because it's not warm. So that's all I do, which I think you could do this with pretty much any boiler. But I wait for it to come through. And that's what it looks like. So now it has that laminate cover. It's all flat. There's no wrinkles because of doing it that way. I've tried so many different methods for applying these. And that for me is the foolproof way. Um, but not all of these like holographic laminates are the same. Some I've really struggled with. They just don't work as well. So this one in particular is my favorite. So... If you're trying these out, if you're a shop owner, I definitely recommend if you're really struggling, maybe try a different brand, um, but try the, the foiler method with pulling it through for your sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest because I really need to get these done so that I can restock them today since these sold out and I still have some, I was holding back some of my reusable books because I want to do another design maybe at the end of the month so I held back some books but because this design so many people wanted it I figured I'll release some of those in this design because I kind of want this design but I really don't need another reusable sticker book so I'm gonna hold off for myself I think and not do it hope everyone's having a good Made in Canada sale. I feel like the sale's been really busy. I think for all the shops so far that I've talked to, so that's awesome. It's, it's nice when collab sales are well received and I really enjoy the Made in Canada sale. It's one of my favorite collab sales to be a part of. 
uh, Erica who organizes it. And I think there's a few other shops too. But Erica was the one that created it. She owns the sticker party and she just does such a good job on the back end of a sale, which as a customer, you don't really see that, but it makes a huge difference for shop owners. It's so well organized. We know what's coming up and when and everything's sort of planned out well in advance. So I really like that because there's so many moving pieces to be ready for a collab sale and preparing your shop and it's not something you can just do the day before. So I really appreciate her organization and how she runs things. As well as the other, I know there's a few other shop owners that help Erica. They're all really good. So there's another one. Yay. These sometimes do mess up and then I have to discard them and I get so sad because I've already printed it, foiled it, and then put a laminate on it and then it messes up and I just wanna cry. So I try and be very patient when I'm doing this and that's why I'm not doing anything else. I normally multitask like crazy. Like I'd be having cutters going and doing a bunch of other stuff. But when I'm doing this specific task, it's the only thing I can do because there's a high uh, mess up rate with these. But I'm hoping if I can just get these, I'm not doing that many because I'm still gonna keep back a little bit of stock. So I'm hoping to get these all made right away and list them. It's 12 o'clock, well noon, my time. So I'm hoping if I can get these made, I can list them by one o'clock. Cause I really wanted to list them today. Today is Saturday if I hadn't mentioned that. So that gives people two more days of the sale that they could pick these up. They are a little bit more expensive of an item because the books are expensive and the because I foil and then do a laminate foil overlay, it makes it a little bit more pricey of a design on top versus just doing, if I had just done this without foil, it would have been a bit cheaper to make and for me to sell. But I prefer having them with the overlay. So let me know what you think if you've purchased one of these. Do you like having the protective overlay? I love them. I wish I could do it for all my albums but it's a lot. I would definitely would have to increase my prices a lot for my albums to do that. And because my albums are custom, like I make them to order, unlike these, these I, they're stocked. I only stock what I have just because they do, they are time consuming to make. Um, my sticker books on the other hand, like my sticker albums, those are custom, I let you pick your spine and all that. So I kind of have to keep them a bit simpler and not add this step to it. So I do get asked lots about like foiling tips and how did I figure it all out? Honestly, the biggest advice I'll give anybody if you're interested in foiling, if you're a customer and you have a mink or you're wanting to foil some stuff, or if you're a shop owner and you're wanting to try it, it definitely takes a lot of patience. When I first decided to try foiling, I honestly, I think about a month into prototyping stuff, I thought it was a complete waste of my investment and that I was gonna give up because I was getting way too many oopsies and the amount that I was getting that were usable and sellable was so low. And so before I gave up and threw in the towel, I decided to just experiment with variables. And that's what I always tell shops that ask me um, for help. I always recommend that they experiment with variables. Um, that was the best thing I did. 
So experiment with all the variables that you have in your shop. So you have your paper type, you have your printing. So how many, what's the DPI that you're printing at? What type of um, toner? What type of like your inkjet? All of those factor in. And then also with your foiler, they're not all created equally. Uh, I remember when I first started, I tried a, like a cheap laminator off of Amazon. It did not work. It just didn't get to, to the right temperature. And temperature is huge with foiling. And yeah, you wanna have some control for that because if you're foiling too hot or too low, it won't foil properly. And that would be my last big tip, is look and see what your foil is telling you. So that's constantly, when I'm foiling, that's what I do. And that's why it's been hard to teach other people how to foil in my shop. My mom was coming in and foiling for me, but it was hard because she doesn't know what the foil's telling her yet because she's still learning. I mean, she knows what a good foil looks like and what a bad foil looks like, but she can't look at that foil that maybe foiled off a little bit and know that it was maybe from some dust on the paper or it was from the foiler being too hot or too cold. And that's, I feel like, just from experience, you start to learn what the foil is telling you. And that's something that... I have to teach her when she foils for me, but right now she doesn't foil for me because I haven't had her working in my shop with all the rules. So I just do it all myself right now. But that would be, I guess, one of my other biggest tips if you're trying to foil is learn sort of what your foil's telling you and experiment. And that's how I figured out what my foil was telling me by going to the different ends of it being way too hot and way too cold. And my foil, I still get oopsies. I mean, that's why I had, I mean, I have a good bundle of oopsies left from the sale. I know lots of people are buying them, but even when you have all the stars aligned, it may not foil perfect. So it is a test in patience. But so far, all these are coming out really good. So I'm happy. <laughs> I had one day where they were all coming out with wrinkles everywhere. I just wanted to give up on the day because it was it was so depressing. <laughs> I wanted to really cry. So when I feel like that, I just walk away. I gave it some time and came back to it and tried again, and then I was fine. But it was it was a day. <laughs> But the rest of the day today, I'm gonna, I have some restocks I have to do. I think I showed you earlier this morning. I printed all those, so now I just need to cut them all. I already put more stock into the shop. I'm not waiting until it's cut, because it'll get done right away. So it's not a big deal. And I think while I'm cutting today, I'm going to continue filling orders. I've already filled the first 20, and I foiled the first 20 for most part. So now I just need to, I think I'm gonna continue on with the next batch because it's Saturday. The orders can't go out anyways. I won't ship them till Monday. So there's no rush in packing them today. I'm going to pack them tomorrow. So I might as well get some more orders in with that first bundle. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. Try and get, be as productive as possible. Get as much done. And I'll also be checking in on all my socials today too. Because I find during these collab sales, you gotta stay pretty active on there as well and make sure you're answering questions. Especially in the Made in Canada Facebook group, which this time I've been awful about keeping up with in search of. I've just, it's been hard for me to stay on top of everything with the shop and then also go through all the Facebook stuff. 
So if you didn't see me comment on stuff that I had in my shop, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's why. I just, it's been hard to do it all. But I know my PR girls are awesome and I know that they've been going on the posts as well and letting you know what I have available too. So they're a great team. So I'm very thankful that I have them, especially times like this where I get too busy to do those things. So here's my newer Cameo. They aren't my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. I actually hate these machines, the newer versions. They're really picky, <laughs> if you can hear me. I had to have my dad build a shelf because they like their mat to be perfectly level in order to run, whereas these originals, they don't care. They're workhorses, they are here for you. These ones are not, so yeah, I don't use these ones as much. You'll notice if I share on Insta Stories cutting, it's always these guys that I'm using. One, two, three, and six are my favorites. Seven's like a close second. Five and four are last. They are not loved. But let's see if this one actually cut correctly. Yes, it did. So it's cut nice, which this um, overlay is really thick because it's protective. So that's why I'm cutting it on this one because it's already, my blade's already set for this depth. So that's what this one's set to right now. So that's all it's doing is cutting album covers. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? Good morning. It's the next day. It is Sunday. And I have spent the morning going through all of the first two batches of orders that I've pulled. And I started working on the customs. So any custom scripts or albums that were ordered, because those are custom, I've been going through and printing. And I'm now going to cut them. And I've pretty much finished the first batch. They're pretty much all ready to go with the exception of the few customs. And I'm going to start pulling um, orders for the second batch. But hopefully those two batches can go out for Monday. That's my goal. So I can then start on the third batch. So I'm just working through batch by batch. And I think I shared at the beginning of this vlog how I sort of color coded my batches so that I would know what number the order was instead of having to go through and actually number every single order, which is what I used to do. So I don't know why I never thought of this idea before, but I am finding it's really useful. So on Etsy, you can actually pull 20 orders at a time or 50 orders at a time to make an easy um, chronological batch. So that's how I'm working through it, hopefully as quickly as I can, but it still takes time because I have to pull everything and either foil or still make a few customs. So hopefully I can get lots done, but I'll show you just some packing and cutting today. Thank you so much for watching another sort of week in my life with the shop and how I manage packing up and preparing for the Made in Canada sale. I managed today to finish packing up the first two bundles of orders, so that's what you saw me doing just now. And I'm gonna be working now on the next set. So I'll be repeating the exact same process that I just did, but with the next two bundles. And hopefully, I'm hoping to get them all out this week. That'll be the fastest I've ever completed orders from a collab sale before. But because I prepared my shop to be ready to ship, I'm really challenging myself that maybe I can hit that goal. I don't know, I honestly, when I wrote down what I have to do in order to do it, I don't think it's possible, but I am gonna give it a try, because you have to have some goals. If you haven't already, definitely go check out The Planning Queen. Check out her YouTube channel, check out her Instagram, give her some love, let her know that I sent you there and I'm looking forward to coming back. I will be uploading a plan with me. I believe it will be going up on Sunday. So definitely check that out too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.